I don't know if I'm going to release this video because I'm in a lot of pain right now. Yeah, I'm so dramatic. I have a grain of sand in my right eye at this present circumstance that is driving me to the ends of my to the ends of my consciousness. And it is increasingly frustrating. Only I can go and jump in the ocean and this come away with this kind of is it an injury or my it's not an injury. It's not an injury. I wanted to speak about while I have the consciousness while I still am relatively not distracted if I don't move my head too much I can keep that grain of sand in just one place but I have to move my eyes because I wanted to show you how breath work is fundamentally training uh, changing part of me the way that I exist and how breath work kills addictions destroys lust and maximizes every single benefit in your life when you think about a foundational skill right a foundational skill meaning that there are elements within a skill that are interchangeable in terms of the particular thing that you are doing. They say meditation is a profoundly interchangeable skill because there is no thing that you do in your life that is not without an element of focus and presence. That's what I mean by trans uh, foundational, trans foundational, foundational skill, gentlemen. And breath work could even be a more foundational skill than meditation itself. This is something we have to master. How conscious are you of your breath? I mean, really, I forget it all the time throughout my day. It comes in and out of my consciousness. But I've been recognizing the more and more I bring it into the remit of my awareness, I am starting to incur. My, the days get better. That is a more, I suppose, palatable way and digestible way for you to understand it. The, the days get better when you can self-regulate better. It's all about controlling your state. If you can control your state you can master anything. You really can. And I wanted to kind of highlight the problem first and foremost in my obsidian diagram here. So this has a basis in science, of course, you know me, I'm always with the uh, the scientific term terminology, especially the endocrinology premise, which is around our hormone system. Now, we know modern man, we, we breathe sub -optimy. I mean, you, you see these people in the streets, they've got these hang dog expressions, the kind of eye bags are down here. The, I, I, I don't know what that was, but they are similar to uh, that kind of breathing pattern. Um, the face has no form, it has no structure, they're devolving. It's very, very unattractive, actually. And, you know, breathing well has a basis in, in you attracting the right, the right woman, the right partner. So modern man breathes suboptimally, shallowly, shallowly being the key here. The suboptimal breathing pattern induces a survival response. If you're not giving your body oxygen, the body panics. It, 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 it's in alarm. What is going on right now to mean that you are not getting sufficient oxygen into the body? Things are not okay upstairs. Are things okay upstairs? And more often than not, the answer is yes, they are. But you have lost awareness of your breathing pattern. The survival response kicked in, meaning more cortisol, more adrenaline in the blood, driving your chemistry to the edges of the earth, like me at the edges of the earth right now with this piece of sand in my eye. Chronic stress, reactivity, inflammation, and coping mechanisms kick in and you turn into a dopamine goblin scrounging about on the floor for, for food, for adult material, for high calorie food, for video games, escapism, Xanax, pain pills, weed, and other such as alcohol as well. All of this at the consequence, this is the source of, look, we're just not teaching and training our body that we are not in that kind of a threat level right now. And here's what happens. It makes the body acidic. It keeps us in sympathetic response here. This guy is going absolutely crazy. The stress response of the body is not optimal. Screaming, shouting, things are not okay. Things are a disaster right now. So what must we do? What must we realize? We must realize that what behaviors are associated with survival response? Well, surviving or keeping the individual alive means we have to eat. We have to overeat. And there come those calorie rich foods that are typically not good for us. And then how do we ensure the collective of the species? Well, we have to reproduce and we have to reproduce or at least trick our body into thinking it's reproducing by uh, the, old, uh, the old Kleenex and phone combination. Generally unwise, generally unpleasant, generally unattractive, generally you need help holistically you need help. So how does one 
correct this. We need to correct the roots and the flower will bloom. It is often humorous to me when hearing people opening their seventh sakra when they haven't even opened the, the root or corrected the root. Name a tall skyscraper scraper building. Like the Burj Khalifa has a strong foundation. Its success is predicated on the root and your success is going to be predicated on the root. And the root of all is how are you breathing? Inhale deeply, exhale. And I love this little diagram here, this little exercise you can do to kind of correct these breathing patterns is place a book on the uh, abdomen diaphragm area, force the book up. You can see the book up here rising, let go and allow the book or the weight of the book to sink into the diaphragm. And this is a correct breath, but even hold your horses on that. It's an odd phrase, holding the horses. Suboptimal compared to the yogic breath. The yogic breath is a full inhalation in the abdomen, in the chest, and in the clavicular head of the lung. So it is, you hear a lot of this. A lot of people are breathing from the chest, breathing from the mouth, breathing from the neck area. That is not it's not that it's incorrect, it's just it's suboptimal. You're missing out two big parts, which is the diaphragm, which is the chest, and then it's the clavicle. So a good breath is diaphragm, chest, clavicle. So three heads. You need to breathe into all of those heads. And that is a superior or yogic breath. Superior sounds very far right, doesn't it? And we're, we're, not, we're not there. We're not there. Uh, parasympathetic response, this induces the rest and digest. You, you, you've, you know this. You know this better than me. What does this induce in the body? Well, the blood pressure drops dramatically. Stress and anxiety drop. Racing thoughts slow. You become more present. The blood becomes more alkaline and you become less reactive. I know I'm not saying anything particularly unique or new here, but I needed to bring your attention to what is happening. And it's profound in my life that my blood pressure is dropping. Well, not right now. But that is the consequence of the grain of sand, not my breathing, which is nice and deep. And you can get a little bit of pleasure from that, a little bit of dopamine, a little bit of serotonin when you actually breathe into the gut. Serotonin, 95% of serotonin, pardon me, is secreted in your gut, in the gut. The second brain, the highest amount of uh, connections in the gut, only comparatively to your cerebral, uh, your, your brain, the gray matter, you know this, you know this. Now, th 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 this, is, this is the premise here. Practicing self-regulation means you keep control. Keeping control. Where things go wrong in your life is where you have intention to do something, but then you become reactive. When you want to get up in the morning, but uh, you're not going to when you want to not click onto that filthy adult website, but your body, your hormones are in fight and flight stress response because you're trying to, your body thinks that the, the human race is dying out. Uh, it's not that deep, not that deep yet. And reactivity is controlled by the limbic system, which is the feminine part of your brain. So I've often been quipped. I say often been quipped. Maybe a couple people retweet me. It's more than a couple. I'm tooting my own horn here masculine men control and have jurisdiction and agency of the breath and feminine men get controlled by the breath. It is a limbic system. You want prefrontal cortex control here. You don't want to be controlled by your limbic system. Well, you can't control yourself by your limbic system because it is reactive in its very nature. And of course, a shameless plug to my Patreon videos here, whereby I take you through breath work, uh, 10 minutes, I believe, of breath work and five minutes meditation. This is how you can start to better regulate your breath. And we are doing yogic breathe, breathing or spinal breathing in this video. Diaphragm, chest, clavicle. It is really, really powerful. Some people are saying that they're meeting the face of God, that they're transcending this universe. I might be embellishing there, but it's really, really good stuff. And I would encourage you come along and, uh, and give it a go. And you can support me, make fantastic and maybe humorous videos like this to educate you and better increase your quality of life through your day. I'm going to now pull my right eyeball out of my head and throw it away. These are not theories. These are facts. Speak very soon, gentlemen. Take care.